I got her all the good music there was in the world, yes sir. I bought her a Victor Vic Crowley. Say, Mom and me decided that if we wanted to be right in style, we'd better get one of these here Hail Columbia Happy Land talking machines. Hello again, everyone. Uh, for this uh, video, I decided to record uh, one of the uh, more interesting small tabletop Victrolas from my collection. In September of 1911, the Victor Talking Machine Company released the uh, Victor Victrola number no. 4 and um, it had a number of interesting characteristics. Uh, of course, it had the, uh, the doors instead of the horn, but gone in later models, and only on this model, which was, or this particular uh, vintage of this model was a really nice uh, nicely nickel plated 10 inch turntable with the toggle brake here and just gorgeous uh, nickel plated exhibition reproducer as you can see here I had to rebuild this reproducer and believe me it was not easy this is the um, also found on the, on the I believe in the Victor all but it's a unique reproducer for this particular model I'm going to try to get a little closer here so you can see the other side. Move this. As you can see, it's all nickel plated. It's an exhibition reproducer. And it has the uh, that retainer ring right there. And it's got a unique tone arm. And elbow and it's just gorgeous it's my favorite model of the VV4 Victrolas and last of all this particular model has the lovely stamped steel grill. These were only supplied on the very earliest Victor Victrola number no. 4 models and they are very hard to find. I was fortunate, fortunate to find this one not too long ago. It needed some work that I did myself and um, but it was mostly minor work and I rebuilt the reproducer as I mentioned it's got the uh, typical you can see almost every one of these early Victrola number no. four had the scarring from the flat shank you see how close the um, the throw is, if you will, for the crank. And when the door is open, of course the original owners didn't bother to push the door this way and then crank it. So they left the door open and consequently you get this light scarring. This one here isn't bad at all. But I was extremely pleased to find it. You can't imagine how happy I was to find this because I've been looking for one of these Victor Victrola number no. fours with the uh, stamped steel grill and the all nickel 
uh, toner and reproducer. Anyway, when we come back, I would like to play for you a lovely World War I tune entitled Hike, Hike, Hike. And it's one of my favorite uh, World War I tunes. It's on a Columbia label uh, from World War I, of course. And uh, it tells an interesting story um, about one of the soldiers. And uh, with the 100th anniversary of World War I upon us in the year 2014, I thought it would be appropriate to play it. So when we come back, we're going to hear Hike, Hike, Hike on the very, very early Victor Victrola number four. So we'll see in a few. Okay, here we are again. You can see that um, I used my VV89 as a pedestal temporarily for uh, my early Victrola number four here. But as promised, we're going to play Hike, Hike, Hike by the Peerless Quartet. One of my favorite World War I tunes. And again, this is in honor of the 100th anniversary of the beginning of World War I. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, thanks for stopping in. Here we go. Yeah, 